has experienced firsthand how difficult it is to grow up in a low-income neighborhood. When he was 17, he decided to start the York Street Ultimate March Break Day Camp, which is designed for low-income visible minority children. Please help me welcome one of Canada's top 20 under 20, Fahad Alatov. How's it going, Toronto? Thank you. So, I'm going to take you on a little journey with me. I'm going to take you back to my grade 8 graduation. Who here is in grade 8? All right, all right. So, my grade 8 graduation, I was, I was a little shorter. My hair was a little poofier. Um, and, uh, you know, I went to a little middle school that was kind of tough. A little middle school in, in Ottawa, one of the neighborhoods, was, was really difficult. But we made it through. And my principal, I remember her walking up to me and my friend said, you know, you guys made it, you guys did it. But now, I challenge you. I challenge you to come back to your community and do something. Come back to the community and help the kids. And I was 13 at the time in grade 8, so I was kind of like, what? <laughs> what can I do? What do you expect me to do? I'm 13. I, I didn't have much resources. I came from a very difficult background and a low-income family. And I never felt that there was much that I could do. Now, if we fast forward four years, uh, I went to a community center called the Boys and Girls Club. Anyone here hear of the Boys and Girls Club? Yeah, yeah come on, shout it out, Boys and Girls Club. Um, so I went to that community center, and in high school, my friend calls me up and says, Fahad, we never did anything about the challenge. What are we going to do about it? And so we came up with a lot of ideas, but what we decided to do, we decided to create what we call the Ultimate March Break Camp. And let me tell you, that is the hypest March Break Camp in Ottawa. Woohoo! Yeah, here you go. Now, I'm going to share with you five secret steps. These are the five secret steps that I took to develop our project and what you can do for your volunteering. Now, step number one, do something you're already good at. We were good at working with kids, so we did just that. Number two, you got all these big ideas, get big pieces of paper and write them all down. Number three, find people to help you. Find an adult to help you, your coach, your teacher, your counselors. You can't find anyone, tweet at me, I'll help you. <laughs> Number four, develop a plan. Know what you want, how you're going to get there, and how long it's going to take you to get there. And number five, have a great team. If you have a great team, your success will be unmeasurable. And what we did in four years, people called impossible. We served over 200 kids in the Lower Town community and raised over $33,000. And the other day, I kind of looked at my friends and I asked, I said, you know, what would have happened in our community if we didn't get involved? And I want you to look at yourself and ask your friends that. What would happen in your community if you don't get involved? But better yet, what would happen if you do? You'll develop yourself, you'll develop your community, You'll make an amazing impact, and you'll get back more than what you ever gave. And so as my principal challenged me eight years ago, I challenge each and every one of you here today. I challenge you to go back to your community. I challenge you to have an impact, and I challenge you to be amazing. Thank you. <laughs>